This video is part of a series of SSIS tutorial videos created by CozyRock. In this video, I will show you how to configure a package that uses the merge transformation with inputs from two different types of sources. The merge transformation can only accept two inputs, and this is what I'm going to use as the first input. It's a text file, and as you can see, it has three columns, and it actually has 24 rows in it, and the ID is what we're going to use uh, to sort on, because the uh, input does need to be sorted before we feed it into the merge transformation. And then this is data in a table that we're going to use as our second input. And uh, this also is not sorted, as you can see by the IDs here. But we're going to use this select statement with an order by when we pull in the data from this table. And uh, I just executed that statement. And now you can see the records are sorted by ID. So here we are in Visual Studio. Let's start with the data flow task. I'll double click to go over to the data flow canvas. And we're going to start with the uh, text file. So I'll use the flat file source. And I'll double click to open the editor. And we need to set up a connection manager. So I click on new. And then we'll browse to find the file I just showed you, which is merge data one. And uh, I do know that we're going to need to change the uh, data types. So for ID, we want that to be 4-byte unsigned integer. And then for the food and the company, we're going to change that to Unicode string. So the the metadata all needs to match between the two inputs and the output. So now we can close the connection manager. And uh, let's preview the data here. And there you can see everything looks as it should look. I'll close that. And uh, we'll close the source editor. And now I'll use the OLEDB source to read in the data from the uh, table. Need to set up a connection manager for that. And I'll find the correct database here. And then we're going to use our SQL command to read in the data with a select statement. We'll paste in the select statement with the order by clause. And we'll preview that. And it looks like it did sort it all, and it brought in all 26 rows. And I'll close this editor. And because I'm not going to be uh, using the sort component, there are some additional steps I need to take here so that the merge knows that the data is sorted. So I just clicked on the OLEDB source output in the input and output properties. And now you can see this uh, property here called is sorted, and I'm going to set that to true. And then I need to indicate which column it's actually sorted on. So I need to set that in the output columns. Here you can see sort key position. I'm going to set that to one. And then I also need to change this, the data type here to um, unsigned integer. And I'll do that up here for the external columns also. Now everything should work correctly when we feed it in to the merge as far as the metadata. So first I need to sort the data coming from the flat file. Of course, we'll use the sort component for that. I'll double click to open the editor, and I select ID, because that's what we want to sort on. And now we're ready for the merge component. 
Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. Do you need to sort large amounts of data that can't be sorted using the standard sort? How many times has the standard sort component failed you when sorting more than two gigabytes of data? With CozyRock's Sort Plus component, you can sort any amount of data and any number of records. It's free for testing and development and provides the same set of capabilities like the standard sort component, and yet it does so much more. It's not limited by the amount of available RAM, also can accept multiple inputs, and all processing is done in parallel using a configurable number of threads. CozyRock's Sort Plus provides optimal utilization of your server's resources, sorting very large amounts of data in a reasonable time. Download the Sort Plus component now. CozyRock SSIS Plus is free for testing and development within Visual Studio. Now I'll drag the merge transformation onto the canvas and I'll connect the data from the sort and we'll call that merge input one and then I'll connect the arrow from the uh, table data. Now I'll double click to open the merge and there you can see everything did get uh, mapped. And here you can see the uh, four byte unsigned integer is the data type, which is also the data type for merge input one and merge input two. And just so you know, the output column metadata is set based on the first input. So we'll close this. And now we're ready to write the output from the merge to a SQL Server table using the OLEDB destination. And I'll double click to open that editor. And it's already chosen the connection manager and we're going to write it to the merge output table. Then we'll click on Mappings, and all three columns did get mapped. I'll click OK to close that. Now I'm going to save the package, and we'll execute it. And it completed successfully, and there you can see we have 24 rows coming from the text file and 26 rows coming from the table and then we write 50 rows out to the destination. So I'll stop debugging and we'll just go take a quick look in Management Studio and I'll select the uh, Merge Output table and there you can see we wrote all 50 rows to this output table. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.